hi welcome back another important session so serial number configuration okay sap ecc or s4 hana so let's try to have a discussion on this so what is this serial number generally what happens so it is uh, serial number is the concept which is av available across various modules okay probably if you are from sales and distribution you can able to see order level and delivery level it is very very important certain times so maybe because of end user mistakes or else uh, you know in a real time configuration also it is required for implementation or support projects let's try to understand this okay so so you have a product for example you uh, dell is the company selling dell laptop Okay, Dell Vestro, and uh, some kind of uh, Dell uh, innovation, Dell Premium, like you know, certain kind of category of brand laptop it is telling. Okay, selling. So not telling, it is selling. I'm sorry. Okay. So when you are selling such kind of a product, when you are selling a product, Dell laptop, what exactly happens? Okay. so what is the advantage of serial number of course you have a material number and material brand it might be alpha numerics or else number then why we required a serial number it's basically uh, suppose you are you are delivering a certain product okay before delivering a product whether it is working or not you have to check okay supposed to be it is in a physical inventory or quality inspection okay such a cases also invent for inventory tracking and your inspection okay uh, so suppose you are telling to the us customers okay so you are telling to indian customers you are selling to maybe uk customer you are selling to different kind of customers but but so if you are selling to indian customer they are in crores 130 crores population is there for example this financial year you sold some uh, 5 lakhs units america you sold some another 4 lakhs units how you will come to know of course you have a batch number which batch it is released okay based on that you know validity will be there warranty and guarantee but so when it is come back to you maybe certain batch it is failed when it is come back to you okay so then to see the serial number is closely directly associating with the customer suppose if it came back for repair okay so with that number they can identify uh, so for example uh, i had from one of my friend a few i think last year i think iphone 12 i think iphone 12 they have sent different batches of uh, iphones right so he bought a mobile from dubai but still that is got failed once he went to the iphone showroom immediately they identified this serial number this series of the batch uh, you know it is got failed other other batches we didn't get any problem some technical glitch is there he got repaired and within uh, two days or three days 45 within 48 hours he uh, gave it back to the customer that means my friend got product after getting repaired so how they are identifying that particular serial number so your serial serial number has uh, that has an impact for example so very near quality same dell laptops so they are manufacturing on site warranty laptops is different and the local uh, indian unit manufacturing is different for example dell laptops us made and uk made is different and indian made is different so how you can able to differentiate same customer can buy from us same customer can buy from india so you will have an advantage of serial number now if you look at here serial numbers we can configure at a different levels so like you know inventory management physical inventory production orders quality management and sales and distribution handling units your packing also and uh, your uh, master records also okay so now what supposed to do these are the different transactions we have and before that i will show you an sap system uh, what needs to be done before that if you are not at subscribed please subscribe my channel and uh, if you come here currently i'm holding uh, 4065 uh, students uh, so this is my prime course sales and distribution if you would like to get a depth of sap sd 
on ecc you can try this and if you are not yet introduced to s4 hana you can try this course also and pricing it is one of the key important topic you can write uh, uh, like you know pricing it is around 20, 21 hours more than 21 hours i have sap pricing okay around 25 hours i have i, I think I recently i have added gst of course it is available in my youtube channel also okay if you are not yet introduced to real time i would suggest to must uh you have to do two courses from my side getting master to write functional specification okay here i have given a template you can able to do your practice okay so and rebates i have a course and if i uh, what i would say financial supply chain management your credit management settings got moved to from sd to fi it is a close integration that also i have explained you so you can try this course here i explain five scenarios of idox actually okay this is one of my highest rated top course okay so you can you can able to try around 19 courses are there if you really interested okay so that is fine now let's getting into the sap so that you know we can uh, do the practicals for serial number generation okay and i will show you the difference so i'm not giving uh, i'm just giving uh, this this overview is sufficient for you to know about serial numbers and uh, you can able go you can able to go to little depth also but uh, you just to try to understand what i'm trying okay so let me try to create one new material so let me share my screen mm01 probably i can take any one of these materials i'll take the retail i'm just creating new material okay so press enter press enter okay so now you have this material so so it sends with 689 right this is newly creating material press enter so let me take this this is gst we have configured few days back let me place the plant also and let's try to put a count assignment category and as of now no available to check let me try to take the transportation group okay purchasing i'm just trying to, uh, i'm just trying to enter mandatory fields actually so i have created this material okay so let me try to create a sales order with this okay before that let me copy this material this is new material i have already existing setup for my sales area let's come here let's try to give some uh, quantity 10 quantity okay so i need a price for this also let's go to vk 11 if you have already existing setup and existing material need not worry but this is my new material then i should have to create it so let's save this now let's try to create a sales order so let's select this okay so try to observe this from the setting onwards go to extras and go to technical objects okay basically what happens uh when any uh you know iphone or else a laptop if it is written back for repair then you should have to identify that serial number okay with that serial number a lot of things will happen okay again after repairing also again uh, for further communication across different departments and quality check 
to deliver to the product you require a serial number okay this is one of the example different examples will be there certain cases certain uh, level of serial number relevant uh, products will be sold to uh, certain countries also your regional level and quality also okay so now if you see this serial number profile is missing for this material okay just wanted to show this error that's why i have created this one okay first step you have to create serial number okay let's do one thing otherwise uh, i'll try to deliver this product on delivery level also i will show you where is the place first so let's give 25th and let's try to go and try to do picking actually i'm sorry okay so go extras let's click the serial number see serial number profile is missing for the material same issue there are warning kind of this is this is error kind of thing even it will not allow you okay if i try to save it will be saved but it will not allow you to do for post goods issue so now let's try to check the settings spro reference img so let's go to the our favorite module sales and distribution you can able to create the same thing for quality inspection you can able to do the same thing for uh, uh, what do you call plant maintenance and the production planning and material management there are many places serial numbers will be there let's go to the basic functions so let's go to the serial number okay see you have to go for this determine serial number profiles okay so let's click this so now see this this is just four digit alpha numerical uh, profile uh, code like how you are going to create your company code and sales org like that you know just a four digit alpha numeric code and this is the text what is the name you would like to give this serial number in real time you might you have to think and you have to plan like you know how you have to generate the serial numbers at the time of implementation so existing requirement don't get into this i will explain you what exactly it is so let's try to get into the category first okay here you have a category is so different kind of categories will be there for serial number generation okay so in our case customer equipment i am taking this one this is fine for us as of now this is a stock rule like you know if stock is not available then warning and inconsistent stock data then uh, error and no stock validation if you don't want to do any stock validation that also you can able to do it against that particular serial number okay so you link the material with serial number and against that serial number whatever the stock is posted if it is not available what is the reaction okay and uh, uh ua iuid these are not uh, much important let's copy this let's try to in at least uh, for the current context let's try to do that in uh, in 01 okay serial number sample profile okay i'm just giving this just copying this so copy all why it need to be copied i will explain you in another few minutes so let's select this so you can able to see all these are the different functionalities across various modules for example if you see this you can able to assign this is the standard you can able to assign the serial number for pp orders okay production orders or planned orders okay suppose if you come here so this is for our written delivery okay this is for delivery okay so check for completeness check for delivery this is our sd delivery okay this is for serial number for sd order in the similar way you can able to see the manufacturing this is goods receipt and goods issues for migo level these kind of things will be there so now what is this one okay let's try to understand this i am not going to so we can delete and you can able to add that one also for testing there is no issues but you have to remember this so now let's uh, try to see order level and uh, let's try to do it at a delivery level okay so let's come here what is this one okay so whether it is obligatory 
suppose if you say it is not obligatory uh, so then uh, if it is mandatory then you have to choose this one if it is optional then just choose this one okay so because it will not allow you okay so now currently it is 0 2 and 0 2 let's save this as of now now let's try to go to mm02 One second. This is our material. Here, go to, I'll explain you the tab where, see, you can able to see, this is the serial number profile. If I assign this, you will not get the error what you are getting now, okay? Let's try to assign. IN01 I have created. This is the serial number sample. Okay. So let's save this. So now let's try to create an order. Now, so now if you select here, go to extras, go to technical object. Here you can able to give your own serial number. Okay, but that's not the case. If I give my one number, that is the absolute blunder. But I will tell you, in one of my project, you can able to give manually also for certain licensing. If it is common uh, number generation, if it is manually, if somebody is in hand, they can able to generate like this. Such a case also, they can able to use it. If I say create number automatically, it will create by default, it starts with one or else if you give some digits and after that uh, next order onwards, if you start, you, if, it will generate automatically. Okay, with the system intelligence. Okay, so as of now, say this one okay if i save this order it's fine now let's go back oh i have moved the configuration so now let's go to spro again reference img let's quickly come to sales and distribution basic functions in this let's come to the serial number and let's go to our profile and this is what I have created. So serialized procedures, let's make this one as 03. And this one, don't worry, either uh, you can able to generate with equipment and without equipment, okay? So as of now, we are checking with without equipment and with equipment also, with equipment also, you can link the serial number so that you know which equipment sh should be used actually. So now let's go to the maintain delivery this also obligatory now now what happens let's see this previously without serial number it is allowed right let's come to the sales order now hmm. let's come here okay it is allowing so if it is obligatory then it, sh it must not allow let's go to VA02 once again So let's do one thing. So obligatory then it must, it must not allow you. Anyhow, let's go to VA01, create a sales order. Let's take, so let me take 10 quantity, go to extras, go to technical objects. So now see this, it, it is created space for 10 quantity. Previously it is one serial number. So for example, if I say create then, it is creating automatically. Okay, then press enter. Let's save this. So now let's try to go to VL01N. Okay, press enter. So let's take the. So 
if i drew to do pga stock is not available let's go to the uh extras and click on serial number see now all these things got copied okay you can able to see the serial number so if you see automatically generation also so already serial number got entered this is the warning message you will get it let's try to spoil something here okay so then if you press enter so if it is allowed so now it is asking for stock posting let's save this so always go to the migo for stock posting and i have to choose this one let's choose this is our material let's give some hundred quantity okay so now if you see this you will get a tab automatically once i enter the plant and storage location you will get serial number here so now you can able to see this serial number right if you check it will check automatically if i go there if i click here okay so it has to generate serial number let's do one thing we'll give our own way of serial numbers okay let it be so let's do the post goods issue see serial number 3223 already assigned so let's check no issues and post now it is taking time let it be so now let's go to vl02n so actually for those numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10 10 for that you have to post the stock actually see now it is got consumed actually okay so now let's do the bill no issues so anyhow let's do vf02 okay this is some tax code issue this is different issue okay so so now you can able to create uh, you can you gave intelligence to create uh, serial numbers on the system itself let's create one more order what system will do mm, let me take five pieces say if i if i see now the series how it is taking because previously we have taken whatever it is last number from the downwards it is automatically generating okay so previously it starts with one because system don't know that's one that is standard behavior so now go to vl01n press enter so either you can directly you can generate directly in delivery itself if you don't generate in sales order also that possibility also there okay let's go to the serial number now see so if i ask this one already numbers got entered okay suppose if i make it this one as 555 okay so press enter now it is allowing actually it should not allow you okay that means uh, at the time of, at the time of transactional level you can able to generate serial numbers with your independence such intelligence you can give to the system or else uh, 
serial numbers you can give manually and if it is not existing one you should not allow you okay either general serial numbers it is passing from your production planning or mm it depends on the module now the story starts here iq01 okay by using this transaction you can able to create serial number on your own for the material so in the similar way you can you try to you know link between your serial number and equipment also don't get into the depth try to understand this one iq01 first okay let's uh, display change and create and so let me show you one second so iq01 i created for this material so for this serial number i can give like you know my own 4545 i have given this serial number suppose if i press enter okay plant plant in double six so sorry in 61 is my plant so for this plant only it will work and sale okay and if you would like to restrict for certain order or the certain sold to party you can able to do that okay okay let me search this i n star sorry this is my plant and 61 okay no controlling area allocated to company code because if you try to create your own it must be uh, you know control over here so this is avlb means available different statuses will be there and here uh, you will configure okay uh, so if you you can able to do the equipment view also okay anyhow no problem i don't generate this serial number you can able to use iq01 and iq02 iq03 to create your own serial numbers so let me do you one thing without creating if already we have existing serial numbers okay so for example slash n iq09 this is the transaction okay now you can able to use any one of the for this material what are all the serial numbers we have we have created too many serial numbers now now you can able to see these many serial numbers i have generated right so these many serial numbers are there then still you would that means assume that you know by using iq01 you have already created all these serial numbers okay now if you see this this is available different statuses are there okay so let's do one thing let's try to go to the top okay okay you can able to use it for your delivery and uh, sales order level these serial numbers and uh, you have a period and you know different parameters will be there now go to the sprvo reference img i would like to show you other option generally this is the option will be there in real time most of the time basic functions sales and distribution basic function let's come to this part serial number okay we have created our profile right now i'd like to show you that option okay in01 for customer you have created i'm just ticking okay existing requirement that means so by using iq01 if you can able to generate your own serial numbers already created that only you can able to use it later but in a previous scenario we have generated a transaction level delivery level we are changing and this uh, what i call order level we are changing now it won't allow you i'll show you this one okay anyhow let me check the procedure also without equipment let me try to do for this okay now let's create a order now for the same material
go to technical objects let's try to give this one okay press enter what it is saying no new serial numbers can be entered for this material that means assume that you have created uh, those serial numbers are already generated okay but i am telling you if it is generated through iq01 because i need to fix one more issue like you know controlling area segment and all those things let's try to understand okay with by using iq01 only previous uh, numbers you have created but uh, you would like to you are asking system to generate then it is uh, scolding you okay when you have the tick mark you don't have uh, you know auto generation also so that means everything is purely manual by using iq01 uh, or else uh, uh, create generating the serial number for your material and after that you are linking with your equipment this is the process actually okay don't worry so like you know uh, certain times go live they have forgotten that one someone uh, so wrong serial number manually entered by uh, any one of the customer so if it is reached to late till invoice so that you know you have to fix these kind of issues you will get it actually so it will not allow you okay so now let's try to what i have to do it i can able to choose any one of the existing okay this is the transaction i have shown you right for example uh, this is available let's take this okay now it will allow you you got it the tick mark for serial number now let's go to vl01n okay take the storage location let's take the quantity now go to extras check the serial number that number is copied from your sales order to delivery now also if you wanted to make some change which is not there okay it will not allow you no serial number but if you take the tick mark that is not the case previously okay so yes go to extras and check the serial number okay and this is the correct serial number because on the list it is available like that you know based on the quantity we can be able to utilize existing serial number only system will not allow you to generate any further uh, numbers at transactional process level at the time of creating order and delivery it will not allow you okay so let me try to go to spro so yes in company code to controlling area so let's try to use standard if it allows that is fine okay let it be okay i don't want to waste your time so you can uh, you can try with iq01 actually i wanted to show you so by using iq01 i have got uh, controlling area assignment issue okay so there is no issue like you know if you go to iq01 you can give your material number and your own uh, manual serial number alphanumerics and you can save it so but you cannot able to directly generate transaction level if you assign configuration that existing assignment or something like that i have shown you already okay so i think this is all about serial number you can able to directly generate at uh, delivery level or also sales order level okay that's all for today this is a brief and uh, extensive learning for serial number generation either you can do in two ways one transaction level 
or else you can create it manually then you can able to do it okay thank you so much i wish you all the best have a great day probably i will add one more video after fixing that one